Hello. So I got this question and I get a similar kind of question about saturated markets and things like that a fair amount. So this person says, my area is full of other therapists. How can I be more competitive? So I feel like there are two um, different thought patterns there that I want to go to. So first, how my area is full of other therapists. My response to that is always good. Um, if you were in a town where you were the only therapist or there were just a handful of you in a big city or something like that, that is a clear indication that therapy is not valued where you live. The fact that there are lots of therapists where you live is a fantastic thing. Um, I often think about Starbucks and how when they're deciding where they're going to put a store, they look for where coffee shops are already thriving. So if Starbucks isn't going out to a market that has no coffee shops, then we probably shouldn't either. Um, so if you're in a saturated market, that's awesome. That doesn't mean um, it's going to be easy, of course, because building a practice, let's be honest, it's rarely easy. But it does mean that you're at least not trying to convince uh, the culture of your city of the validity and um, just the validity of therapy therapy in general. You're not having to like sell therapy to them as well as trying to have them choose you. So that's what I want to say about the saturation piece of this. And I want to talk about how to be more competitive. I think that the most important thing about how to be more competitive is to not be competitive. Um, maybe not the answer you were looking for, but I'm going to go deeper. Don't worry. <clears throat> how to be more competitive. I would say um, instead of thinking of your colleagues in private practice or in agencies as competition, think of them as colleagues. We often have different niches, different ideal clients, even if you have the same niche, people get full and need someone to refer to. So instead of um, looking around at the people at the CEU event in your city and thinking of them as um, people you have to beat out, think of them as potential referral sources and potential people you can refer to, because that's really how it works. Um, I'm really, really grateful that there are other amazing eating disorder clinicians in this city because I can't see them all and don't want to see them all. And there are some people who are much better fits. So one way that you can stand out and maybe we'll say that and have your people find you, um, like the people who would be a really good fit, is to be very clear about your niche and your ideal client and to make sure you are speaking to that pain point, you're speaking about the ways in which you are a different kind of therapist or you bring a different kind of you to the room than any other therapist in town. And it's not about dogging the way anybody else does anything, absolutely not. It's just about talking about how you do it. Um, so for instance, on my website, I'm really clear about how I work with people who are really ready to get better. I am not good with people who are resistant and who want me to pull them along. I'm just, I'm not that kind of therapist. I don't do a good job with that, but I know people who are. So when I get calls from those people who need, um, maybe they're just in a stage of change that I'm not great at working with, I know who to send them to, the people that are gonna make a huge difference in their lives. So that's where I'm at with that. I hope that that is clear. Um, and yeah, figure out the ways in which you're different. I'm, I tend to be more directive, for instance. Maybe you're not, maybe you're really nurturing. Um, I once got fired because I'm not maternal enough. Great, that's not a great fit then. Um, I can send you to somebody who's awesome and maternal over there. So wanted to put that out there for you guys. Some of this is mindset shift of like, the other therapists are not gonna keep you from having a full caseload, I promise, I promise. Um, and you do not have to compete with them. All right, have a great day.